what do people do if they're going to a church that does not speak out against evil? Graciously challenge mm -hmm. your pastor and ask to meet with him. And then if he repeatedly refuses to take these things seriously, if he refuses mm -hmm. to preach the full counsel of God, if he refuses to explain to the bride of yeah. Christ how the full counsel of God means that Christ's life, death, and resurrection, the former fetus who entered human history in a uterus and predicted and pulled off his own resurrection, if that doesn't have anything to say to the cultural issues of the day, if that freaking event doesn't mean anything to how you understand your time and space that you live in. If the greatest former fetus to have ever existed, who predicted and pulled off his own resurrection, doesn't give you lenses through which to see and understand the world, then that pastor is, is subtly and subconsciously communicating to his congregation that Christianity wow. is not big enough for your questions. Christ can't handle your questions. He is not large enough to provide the kind of spiritual and political clarity that you're looking for, go find that answer from another faith and they will. And you will send those young people in particular who are so confused in this sexualized mob of a culture into the arms of the religion of humanism to find clarity on issues that you as the shepherd refuse to bring. So if your pastor is not going to begin taking these things seriously, they're a waste of time. They've abdicated their pulpit and they need yeah. to step down. They're a waste of time, Come they're a waste on, of Seth. ministry, and they're a waste of the tithing that people have given to advance the kingdom of God. But do it graciously, yeah. do it kindly, do it respectfully. Try two or three times. And if nothing happens, shake Come them. Come on, Seth. Thank you so much. Pastor.